My name is Erin M. Riley. I am an artist in Brooklyn, New York. I was born in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and grew up there, went to high school there, and then was always like obsessed with leaving. So I applied to a bunch of schools in Boston and ended up going to Massachusetts College of Art, which um, was amazing, and that's where I learned how to weave. I was weaving tapestries of like pretty intense stuff, like um, stuff from my childhood and a lot of like sort of abstract, abstractly personal things, um, like about domestic violence and about um, like alcoholism or like family issues. With any sort of craft, you learn all the rules and you get really good at them and then you start to break them. So um, I was this like weird little punk kid who really hated authority, but also like had a lot of craziness in my life. So I liked order. So um, I was drawn to the safety of weaving and like when I felt anxious or when I felt overwhelmed or stressed out, I could always go weave, and that was something that was bega became a coping mechanism for stress. So um, the process was really um, alluring in the beginning. I also started to like run out of content, like physical content. I was working with a lot of family photographs. I started mining s images from online at a time when you could really do that. Um, 2009, 2008, you could access like personal troves of, Im of images that um, you can't access anymore because of privacy and all of these controls that are now on the internet. So I was using other people's images in place of content that like I would produce or that I would have. Um, and so that's where it's sort of like my selfie series started and like working with women's bodies started was that finding images that reflected my reality, but I was using other people's bodies as stand-ins. So, um, but yeah, but then that work started to get a lot of pushback because of it wasn't my images, and there was a lot of like talking about exploitation and um, a lot of like comments and like literal like feedback from from the internet and people saying like that's either literally that's my image or like I know those people or um, how dare you whatever. So I started to really rethink my process. There was this beginning process of people seeing my work for the first time and giving their opinions. I got published in my first magazine and then a blog did a post about my work and then a gallery picked up my work. In the art world I started showing, one of my first shows with, was with two guys and me and that was kind of the, the ratio. I mean, most galleries, it's like mostly men and then some women, like the token women. Um, so that's kind of just what you get used to doing and that's sort of who your peer group is. So I've gotten really used to being like the only woman in a show. I was starting to sort of put together this picture of like how people perceived me through my work. You know, I would show up to my art openings never having met a gallerist and because of the work I was making they thought I was like this party girl who drank and like um participated in wet t-shirt contests and like spring break activities and they didn't realize that I was like this like straight edge girl who like didn't really socialize so um I started to sort of put these pictures together of like figuring out that people were creating a narrative of who I was based on the work that I was making. 
with sewing, there was, it always seemed like there had been, like everything had been done, or like there was a lot of boundaries as far as like what was possible, especially in an art way. Um, and with weaving, learning about artists that had come before in the 60s and um, these giant sculptural t like textiles and various things, I was like, weaving just seemed like there were so many possibilities. And my implicating myself in a, into a series of like using the female form and that's when I started to use my own body in my work. And during high school and like I was always doing self-portraits because I think that's like what you always do in high school. So um, it does like reflect what I started out doing but I just moved away from that because of like insecurity or um, thinking about sex or the internet in a way that's like um, not literally personal. So yeah, now I'm in Brooklyn and I'm working on self-portraiture and a lot of work about past relationships and past times in my life and sort of like the moments and the music and the food <clears throat> um, and just thinking about like these personal sexual but also like mundane moments in life. It was very rambly. Sorry.